Okay, since I've labeled this a performance flight, what I was trying to accomplish is trying to figure out what power settings give me the longest range um, for some longer flights that I intend to take. And uh, the only way to do that is by changing the prop RPM since it's a fixed pitch prop and I don't have any control over the pitch in flight. The manifold pressure is just whatever it is based on what RPM I'm set at. And uh, the typical RPMs in this airplane, max is 5,500, and usually we go back to 4,800 for descending and 4,400 in the pattern. Um, but that's not a hard and fast rule. And remember that these are engine speeds, the prop speed is, is significantly lower. The engine is turning about 2.3 times faster than the prop. So um, I'm going to start out at 8,500 feet and take some screenshots and then finish up at 9,500 feet with some more screenshots. And I'll show you the uh, QOH settings, which are somewhat different. Uh, and I'll explain that when I get to them. Here we go. Well, here's the first picture. And this is at 8,500 feet. And this one kind of describes where I'm at. Now I'm at 5,000 RPM, 8,500 feet, 27.2 manifold pressure. And you can see what the uh, performance is. Now we're at 5,100 RPM. And the next setting is at 5,200 RPM. And if you'll look over on the left there, you'll see the, uh, the air speeds, the different air speeds that we're performing at. And now max RPM 5,500. And that's about max performance. But you see the manifold pressure is still low. It's 30.3. Now here's the POH, and the POH, uh, if I were to try to do a long range flight, you can see that if I got down in the 28 inches area of manifold, we're looking at seven plus hours. But that's at 4,600 in the book, and I can't do that with the way the prop is set. So now we're up at 9,500 feet, and similar air speeds, maybe a little bit slower, probably a little less fuel burn here and um, 5,000 RPM here. The next one is at, uh, I believe it's at 5,100 or 5,200 here. And I think if I were to try to do a long range flight, I would probably settle for about 5,000 RPM, uh, which I think would give me the longest range into the seven hour category somewhere. Unfortunately, I don't have a fuel flow uh, indicator in this airplane. So I'm going to do some measurements. Uh, I topped off after that flight and um, I've got a flight coming up and I'll be able to see exactly what the fuel burn is at altitude. So that's the performance series for the Technum. And um, I'll let you guys look at a beautiful landing here in Gulf Shores, Alabama at Jack Edwards Airport. I'm heading south at this point, entering the left downwind for runway 35. And that's the beautiful Gulf of Mexico with some condos and beach in front of me. And in just a second, I'll make my left base. And final, on final, I'll go right over one of the, the larger boat yards here that does a lot of yacht work, which is right at the end of runway 35. And uh, enjoy, and uh, I'll be back with you next time.
surprise. This is what I normally do on the way home from a nice flight. An ice cold sangria. Enjoy.